Hey everybody, it's Nathan Walters, music producer, recording artist, and a former boy band member. If you're new to my channel, I was in a boy band on Atlantic Records back in the early 2000s called Plus One. And uh, these days, I produce records, record my own stuff, record for others, and then when I'm not doing that, I am making reaction videos. Uh, I fell into the world of BTS recently, and I'm loving this whole rabbit trail, rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it that I'm going down. Thank you for the community. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, many of you said I should I should do uh, Permission to Dance, and uh, I'm going to listen to Permission to Dance performed at the United Nations, which sounds epic. That feels like a big deal. Like I don't think I don't think has anyone performed there. It's the first time I've heard somebody doing something like this. Let's go. It's a that opinion when your heart's just like a drum, beating louder with no way to guard it. Wow. When it all seems like it's wrong, say louder out and join to the feeling which is getting started. Okay, first off, this, you know, I, I, I assumed it was going to be live, but it, for anybody thinking, oh, these guys can't sing, the, this is a straight. Tell them to go to this video. This is truly live. You hear the reverb of uh, the United Nations room, and um, that's cool. So here's a, little, here's a little fun fact as a producer and, um, yeah, producer and someone who's done a lot of live videos. Um, sometimes people will uh, uh, record, sing live, and then later they'll go back through, and, uh, and this is not bad to do. But if, you, if live, it's easy to do notes that are, that are not. You know, they're off a little bit. So sometimes if you want to release that as an official recording, you'll go ahead and, and auto-tune and get that note just where it's perfect, right? Some people like to do that. A lot of people like to do that. Some people don't. But um, I like to do that. So anyway, um, so, but when you do that and you have room mics also capturing the room, it's hard because what happens if you go in and auto-tune that note up right and then the bad note, it's still reverberating on on the on um, on the track that recorded the room. Um, you're gonna have an issue. You'll hear this weird phase thing happen because you'll hear two of the notes. You'll hear the corrected note that you made with auto tune later, and then you'll also hear the actual live reverb um, happening, and it's still on the bad note because it's hard to recreate. It's hard to correct that reverb. It might be possible a little bit, but it's hard. It's hard to. Um, so that being said. We'll see if anything is rubbing in here. It doesn't matter if they use, like I said, it's not bad to use auto tune. I'm just saying, I, I feel like they're not. I feel like this is going to be right on. And um, this is a great video to show, uh, I'm assuming, people who uh, may think they can't sing. Because they can. Right now, I, I hear that reverb, and that's, it's it's super reverby. So this is live. This was really recorded at the, obviously, uh, at the United Nations. Here we go. Just getting started. And when the nights get cold and the rhythms got you falling behind Just dream cool. up of that moment When you look yourself right in the eye I, I, I did you say I want a piece of music Got me going and nothing I can stop how we move Yeah There's Let's nobody in that room except them Just like a golden and roll Cool Okay, okay, I might be talking about everything I said about reverb in the beginning is true, but I feel like I'm still hearing the right, uh, the same amount of reverb even when they're out here. So that might be just the type of reverb they're using, which is fine. We'll see, we'll see. I'm still listening. I'm not trying to judge them. I'm just telling you my, my, my feedback. Anyway, I love what they're wearing. I love the whole fact that they're literally in this epic, um, serious, diplomatic, you know, United Nations, you know? Uh, but they're just having fun and singing. And what a cool band um, to do that. Because, I've, you know, these guys are international, you know, and it's like, makes sense for them to be United Nations. Um, okay, that's cool. Uh, what else? Yeah, they sound great. So let's let's check this part. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Also, I want to I want to go ahead and be honest. At the recording of this video, I have already recorded. Um, I, I tracked uh, or I, I did a reaction to their official music video, and in that video, I was like, J Hope. I didn't know he could sing, and uh, and I was like, oh, maybe he doesn't. Obviously, I see he does. That's awesome. I thought he was just rapping, and may, maybe I've said that before, but I'm still getting to know everybody and what they do. But, man, I have abandoned my attention to uh, J-Hope. I don't know why I got smitten by Jimin. <laughs> but, you know, he sounds great. And same with Jin. You know, I know he sings leads a lot. I don't always address that. But, um, okay, that's cool. So J-Hope can sing. Okay, I feel like the reverb sounds a little different here. So, um, you know, when you're mixing, you can add reverb to try to make it match the room that was there before. But it does seem like they it transitionally, we'll, we'll go and test, that the reverb was truly from that room um, in the beginning of the video. Cool, that's just something I'm nerding out on. I want to go back and test that out, but let's listen. Cool. What a great shot with the lines. cool yeah all right so um you know i said this in the other uh, uh music video reaction for permission to dance but i love the string lines that are in there i, I just now heard horns too so they got horns and strings and those strings are so arranged so great i don't know who did them but they're like moving everywhere and um tastefully done it's like sometimes if you if you add instruments in a song it's tempting to keep you know adding all kinds of melody parts and stuff or it is, is for me as a producer and you always got to remember make sure you stay out of the way of that vocal the vocal comes first that mo that melody do not do another melody even, even if it sounds cool on its own don't do another melody with a track a string line or a synth or a guitar if it's gonna if it's gonna cloud uh what's happening with the the, the main vocal and uh some you know some people, when they're, when they're first starting out producing, they don't think that way. I didn't. It wasn't until later that I realized, oh, man, the vocal is the loudest thing in the mix. It comes first. All this other stuff is secondary. Um, but, yeah, this, this, this track is done really tastefully. You, you hear the movement of, of all these other instruments, the strings, behind, and uh, it's not taken away from the vocal. That's also, it's a great, it's, it's mixed really great, too. So, all right, let's keep going. Okay, I'll stop real quick too. Uh, hey, hey, I can't even hit do. I'm not a great run guy. I don't even know what he did. Uh, I I don't know if that was Jin or Jimin who who sang that that ad lib, but it sounded so great. And I know it's on the original recording, but this sounds executed differently. Where he sang that live, which is impressive. I want to hear that again. Here we go. Oh, I gotta back it up more. Back it up more. Let's hear that. Right here. I'm jealous. I wish I could sing that way. All right, Jamin. And then we can keep the fire alive. Something. Okay, I want to hear something because when Jimin was singing, there was an interesting reverb on his vocal that sounded like he was like not outside, like inside. I want, I want to hear that again. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the reverb sounds like he's, in a, like he's in a room, a stadium. Okay. That's fine. I, I see what's happening. Like they're they they went back in the studio later and added some like nuances that make it feel like it's coming to life more. That's that's common to do. Uh, okay, let's, let's keep this. It's fun. Yeah, like the like the woo and the yes, the the crowd, the crowd. Even though visually they're here, there's no microphones picking that up. You know. Um, not not like I'm hearing it. So that that's overdubbed later, but that's fine. It's ex that's expected. Here we go. I feel like they're having more fun in this video than they are in their uh, uh, their original video. I mean, maybe not more fun. Just it just feels different. Like in this video, it like there's a I don't know. There's a sense of like they're having fun, but they're also like coming across across more like relaxed and confident. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know why why that comes across that way. I don't know. It just feels different. Cool. All right. That's great. I love that song. Thank you for uh, recommending it. All right. As always, like, subscribe, leave some more comments of other songs you want me to check out. It doesn't always have to be BTS or the BTS solo members. Uh, it could be anything. All right. And that being said, make sure you check out my own cover I did of BTS. It's a cover called Fake Love at the moment of this recording. I got plans for doing more. Look in the description. Check it out and uh, let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.